Hi, Dr. Rocky Victory again, and I am doing our Fertility Basics series where we discuss the basics of infertility for our patients who want to learn a little bit more. So today we're going to briefly touch on female infertility. So when we're exploring the possibilities of female infertility, we're keeping in mind that about 40% of the time we'll find a female factor, 40% of the time we'll find a male factor, and 20% of the time we find out both the guy and the girl have some kind of issue. So when we're looking at female factors, there are kind of four major ones. Keep in mind, there's a, quite a complex body of science out there, so there's a lot that we look at sometimes, but there's four basic ones, so those are the ones we're gonna touch on. So number one, I gotta make sure that our lady is making an egg every month. If there's no egg, obviously there's not gonna be a pregnancy. Number two, I gotta make sure that the sperm and the egg are meeting and everything inside is normal. What does that mean? Well, your cervix needs to be open. Your uterus can't have a lot of polyps or fibroids that are in the wrong place. Those are sort of pieces of tissue or little benign tumors that can arise in the uterus. I gotta make sure your fallopian tubes are open because the egg comes through the tube and the sperm and the egg meet in the fallopian tube. And then I gotta make sure your ovaries are normal so there's no cysts or lumps or bumps that don't belong there. Number three, I gotta make sure you're producing good quality eggs. Egg quality is huge. If you have good egg quality, your chances are much higher. And if you don't have good egg quality, then it can affect both the chances of getting pregnant and the chances of staying pregnant, meaning it's a higher risk of miscarriage. Where is egg quality a problem? Well, number one, age can be a factor. Then we have chronic diseases that can impact it. We have issues like smoking, drinking, drug use, including marijuana, none of which are safe for trying to conceive. And then finally, weight can frequently be a factor on both extremes, whether you're too thin or you're heavier than ideal. And then finally, there's kind of this black box category where we really don't know what the problem is. And we call that unexplained infertility because we can't figure out the reason that the infertility exists. So could be male factor, could be female factor, but because with the guys, we can actually see the sperm, if we know that the sperm is okay, we usually kind of figure that it must be a factor on the female side of things. And those can be things like endometriosis, which is a condition where the tissue that usually would come out with your period actually ends up inside you. It can stick to the different parts of your body. And when that happens, it can cause a lot of inflammation. That inflammation can then prevent pregnancy. So those are the fertility basics for a lady. We need to know, are you making an egg? Are the sperm and the egg meeting? What's your egg quality like? And is there something we're just missing because we can't see it on our basic testing? Remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you again soon with another Fertility Basics.